Hello, people of the internet. I have not done a video in about two years. I just have no motivation or drive to do one. I just no interest. But I thought this year it's all to the same. I didn't do one last year. I was a bit busy. So I thought this year I was going to go off assembly and do my haul. But I thought it'd be best to do the haul first. Just so at least get it out of my living room. Go put it on shelves. And I can still talk about the memories of how great A was at another video. So first of all I'll start with going to Toy Fu that if anyone doesn't know, Toy Fu are you are four are usually a team of guys. This year it was Nick, Andy, Matt and Tony, who all got their way and actually dedicate their time to actually buying toys and every profit they make from that sale goes on to Mary's Meals, which actually supports meals for children who actually to help them go to school in like Africa other countries, so those guys do a lot of great work. So usually one of the first, actually, usually are the first one I always go to is go to an auto assembly. So they were a bit busy first thing Saturday, but I did manage to pick up some great figures for them. Starting first, I'll go with the most, well, wasn't really disappointing to go with, come on. Who doesn't love GoBots? And Toy for usually have GoBots, even though I didn't realise till later I picked up Fighter. A nice little figure. I didn't realise most till later his wings was missing, but he's going to be standing in robot mode. But as you can see though, on second transformation, put as his legs go in and out like that, uh, one of his legs have come away. Oh, it's okay, only some need some super glue and he'll be standing on a shelf anyway. The rest of my small GoBot collection. That's an awesome little figure for a pound. On the GoBot front we have this guy who I do recognise from the cartoon. I did look up his name yesterday, but I've already forgot what he's called. It's not leader one, it's another GoBot guy. He has, does have a weird transformation where you pull him down, his whole side, you put the nose cone down, and yet his whole body seems to split in half and rotate like that. And it's going like all GoBots these days, they're a bit flimsy because so don't get as much reissues or love as Transformers do, but still. Go on, who doesn't love GoBots? And that was also a pound, Toy Foo. And the next one was also a pound, was Pinch, uh, sorry, Dive Dive. A little tiny submarine. And it turns into a cool little figure. This is also a pound. I do like, kind of like the head sculpt and dive dive. You can see it. I'm just holding up. It's probably just a blurry mess on my pathetic camera. Again, that was another figure. It was just awesome. And come on, Pincher, who was mint in the box. He was four pounds. Again, ever said though, so every profit goes to charity and another great GoBot character. Okay, and on this case of Go, well, case of GoBots, they also had some rock lords, rock lords, rock lords, powerful living rocks. So I picked up this guy. He was five pounds. He's an interesting little rock thing. He turns into a rock as such. There you go, well, technically it looks like a seat more than a rock. And also they had Magmar, I thought, yes, I picked up Magmar, the leader of the bad guys of the Rock Lords. Not until I got home I realised I actually already have him. I must have bought him from Toy Fu last year, one of those ones you have a brain fart, forget you had a character, you just go, ooh, awesome, so... Even though I paid £5, it means I bought £5 for a charity, for a charity table, and it gets redonated again next year. Yep, I actually have missed a GoBot. It's part of Puzzler, who was a GoBot combiner, as you can see, is a kind of lam yellow Lambo. Very stun streaker esque. And if you can, don't know if you can see, make out his head sculpt in this camera, I very much doubt it. But its head sculpt and the shape it does look like stun streaker as well, so. Basically, he has almost, well, to me, it comes across as a stun streaker in KO. Even though it's a GoBot and fishly, but. He has little tiny hands and arms, they're so thin. Actually, I bet it just looked like it moved. It didn't. And the final two kind of smaller non-transformer figures I picked up from Toy Fair were two mask figures, even though I found out later on they had some with masks that was beaten to. But you still got a mat track, and I don't have a Miles Mate him in my mask. It's my tiny mask collection, so I have those. I did have some fun actually doing wrestling moves in these two, actually, at one of the bars on Saturday. So I really should upload those tw pictures to Twitter sometime. And I'm okay. And this next figure, I'm don't actually not a big fan of third-party figures. It's the knock of most of the price off them. 
what you get. But Toy Food did have this little guy, which is an eye gear spray. And the only other third party figure I have that I like was the TFCon Rector. Kind of half a mold from TFCon 2012. And it's because I managed to pick him for about £8, and this guy was £10, which is kind of the price I don't mind paying for a third party figure. And here's a fun little figure as well, like the head sculpt, the transformation's nice. And come on, I'm a G1 at collector on my G1 at heart. So you have Landfill, which is one of the double target masters, though he does have one of, the, one of his guns, where the other two I do. So that means then I've now have all three of these guys, though this is the only one that has any kind of gun. And he just turns into a dump truck to take out the trash. Another figure I've got, I've ne this never actually owned any of these before, was Drag Strip. Obviously, a lot of you now know him from Combiner Wars. I've never actually owned any of the Combiner Wars figures yet, and I do feel bad that before I bought this one that on Friday I did break my roommate the Glaugs. He got the Mirage actually sent directly to the hotel, the whole way four line. And play with him was trying to be so delicate, I dropped the figure on the floor and didn't realise till later on he's at point, point me like this going, have you seen a blue bit? I'm looking for a gun or weapon, so I not realise I've accidentally snapped one of these things off. So I feel clumsy and I still feel bad about that, especially as a brand new figure. So he was again seven. So for my first Combiner Wars figure, I do quite like him, though I do find that head a bit weird and thin. You just wonder how many kids have got hold of these and snapped that head off. But no, I like him, he's really a nice figure. Nice paint details on him, especially those eyes. And you do get the kind of weird hand glove thing. It's good as a hand, tiny as a foot, and just looks really bizarre as a weapon. Sorry, probably going to be a bit more organised here. I also picked up a G1 hoist. They had hoist, well, as you can probably see by the stick of £10, he's missing, well, one fist, two forks. I had to look up the online think they were on two of his missiles. But anyone knows the cartoon that Hoys usually actually went around it any with one hand and a kind of missile gun thing and the other fist. It's probably, can't remember if it's actually cartoon accuracy if it's this way around or the other configuration, maybe the missile on the right of the hand. But I do have a G1 Hoist now. It's great because I've never actually had owned this mode ever. And also I did get Grapple from Toy Fu last year so and actually technically I have the G2 constructed cards, I don't have the G1 set but now we can actually have these two harass the consent cards and go let's build something we're banned from POWER TOWER! Arr! Idiots Right, and probably one of my favourite and here's something I did get from Toy Fu that's that I bought on the Sunday I bought Master of the Universe Classics Grizzloff figure, I only own one other Master of the Universe Classic figures and that was Catra I bought earlier this year on eBay. She didn't seem to be a factory reject, had a crack in the side of the neck. But they did have initially have Shira who I um didn't earn about getting but left it to, but the time they said I'm gonna go for these figures. They only had Grizzle on, there was a Shira and there was some big box of something I don't know what it was. But yeah, so I haven't opened him yet, but he should be getting opened soon in the next few days. And actually, I bought, picked up these from Toy Food the kind of the last day. As I'm surprised, well, maybe this need to be cleaned up a bit, like some other toys, G1 toys I have. Just maybe need some retro labels cleaned up a bit. But tops to in Twin Twist. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually can't remember which one's which. But those were five pins each and sitting there, and with the love, well, probably because the last time the records loves died down, and obviously these two won't be in the Cinder records as they're dead. Get class of spoilers. That's about five years ago or so. Yeah, maybe. Got them, and finally a character to actually complete my original three G1 Seekers. He does again need repo labels. I just have Seekers a G1 Skywarp. I'm no looking at him, believe it to be a reissue version. One of his wings a bit tight. I'll have to do it just somehow. I got advice from my roommate, the Cloud Mike, on how to actually tighten up these joints. So I'll try that. But it's great they'll finally go. Yes, now I have Sun Star Scream and Sun Street and th sorry Thundercracker. Now I've got Skywarp, so I now have the three original Seekers. And the final purchase from Toy Fu came from probably one of the rare lines I'm collecting these days. So it was Masterpiece. I don't actually, I have Smokescreens Pro, so I wasn't actually sure whether I wanted to pick up this guy. I had think thought in the past. I'm thinking about, ooh, should I pick up a KO just to at least fill in the section as it'd be half the price. But they had him for £35 in Toy Fu, even though I spoke to Nick and Friday, who did 
He was kind enough to sit and buy, and on the site he said, how much have you got in £30? Nope, and I thought it was generous enough to rip him off, go, nope, you said 35 So, it's good for a good cause, and Nick's a great guy to get that. So also came with this collector's card and coin. Funny enough though, when I looked in eBay last week before Auto Assembly, just, just at Massapus Cheap, they did have the kind of cannons go from M Century Grand Prix for about what, under £2 each. And now typically, because I'm actually looking for another two, those that line has disappeared now, and the cheapest ones can find are fifteen pounds. But we'll have to look about because they do definitely look a lot better. And obviously, Blue Streak actually had the red kind of red blocks with the cannons on. But that's a great figure. That's me now. Got the three Nissans. Though I did look for a Lambo mode, as I don't want an official version of the Lambo mode, only a KO of Red Alert. But sadly, though, I didn't see any of that mode at all at Auto Assembly. But I do know there's eBay. I can probably get the G2 one for about thirty-five eight pounds delivered. So I'll probably just do that in the future to actually make sure I've at least got the Lambo mode genuine. So that was everything so far I bought from Toy Fu, and that came up to about £130 total. It was also the first one I went in, I donated a Masterpiece Grimlock for them to sell. I got a box when last year Toys Us were doing a 3 for 2 deal. So I ended up getting Grimlock, Sunstorm, and ended up getting a second Grimlock. The initial plan was well to pass it on to someone it cost, so it worked out like you're paying a third of the price for each. But that's then the week, bef the day, two days before mine actually got delivered, and this was a week after I bought them. Toys have dropped the prices down to Grimlock to thirty-five pounds each, so I had a Grimlock to do anything with. So I thought, the past few years I've been trying to find things to donate to Toy Fu. I've got a Grimlock masterpiece. If you can sell it, pass it on. My first day there, it was great. It's nice to so see seventy pounds someone buying it. The only issue is though they brought it back. I found it later on Saturday that they brought it back, and it was an issue with some of these batches of Grimlocks that, to that I don't think the gentleman Toy at Toy Fu were aware of. That on some of these Grimlocks, there is an issue where the fists go, that we actually unfurl the fists here, with some of them locking as, but that one comes out. I've had the same issue, as, I've seen a few people have had the same issue on the batch, that on this one here that has the light stuck on it, or actually the lighting effect, it's quite hard to get out and stuck, so I believe the customer actually took it back. Oh, sorry, it's probably like you've seen that it takes a bit of work to get out, or sometimes you've got to get something in. So unfortunately I don't think the gen but Toy Fu were aware and returned it and I th th even though they put it back on sale at the end of Sunday when I seen them pack up I th believe they didn't sell it but but now at least they've still got a Grimlock for the future. So sorry I took them off to demonstrate so that was kind of something I thought yes it's always great when you know you're doing something good see something you've donated getting sold and then it doesn't happen. But other th things I ended up buying let's see this <coughs> looking about and again on the Sunday just to go with the Grizzlaw, I did find a box, Master of the Universe 2000X Prince Adam box for only £10. I've actually really owned any of these figures at the time, I wasn't caring, but 2000X is an excellent series. And initially was quoted, told though they actually may have had some Master of the Universe classic figures loose for sale, but by the time we'd gone, they were all gone, so at least got myself a nice Prince Adam. As I'm not even sure if I actually, maybe even as a child, owned the original Prince Adam, but. That was good, so that's kind of more or less takes care of my non-Transformer related items. It's everything else now just Transformers. I did pick up a reissued G2 cliff jump of £3. At the time I bought, picked them up, I didn't actually realise they had wheels missing, but they should be easy to replicate. And as you can see, this is the one from years ago. It was a key holder, or well, the key ring, so you'd hang that on your keys, and it's quite, it must be quite annoying. But yeah, that though, they can be easy, probably easily find somewhere online or eBay to go find just a... One of these ones, it must have broken legs, broken arms, and just take the wheels off. At the same place, I actually did enter a raffle, it was, I can't remember the name of the stall, but it was a, like a raffle, you buy one ticket for £1, six for £5. And I did win two figures, one of them was this R.I.D. Ironhide. Oh, well, sorry, I said raffle, it was a Tombola. I know there's a difference where a Tombola, you just draw so it's instantly you find the number, it was any number ending with a 0 or 5, so I ended up buying an R.I.D. Ironhide, which I don't know for some reason his face looks like Mirage, but I can see although his Ironhide cow. also did want a sea spray, but ended up giving that away to Mr. Smoke Sniper, just the hotel room just went, I oh, already have one. On the same effect though, from the same stall actually, Mr. Dark Percy won a, won a, bro, um, a war pad that could have handed them to me. Unfortunately again, he's one of the few minibots I do have, and that was looking for is so I was gifted that figure for the same store, so thanks, even though I do already have it, mine's a bit flimsy, the head falls down. But this one, the head didn't seem to stay up. And
and I did pick myself up after last year. Oh, I didn't really bother this figure last year because it was interesting to tailgate, but as Capow still had these guys with Tenor, not too keen on actually paying price for that because so small, but it's because I did pick up Bombshell early on this year. I thought I'd definitely have to get the Shrapnel to go along with them as I Shrapnel was the one G1 figure I don't have. I did actually, he was the only figure on my list to look for this year, but again, the Gloud did state oh, well, that he had a few of them and he'd send me one. So that's why I didn't actually get a Shrapnel this year. That I looked for, but so I actually got one of those boxes. It was that was great. As I've never really cared much for the smaller figures, but the past year though, as they've now been doing them in scale, like they used to be, like many years ago, or the G1 or my, the G1 on myself. So this is card for drag strip. Oh my God! By the way, it's too late now. Right now it's about midnight. All I've done today is sleep on and off. I feel a bit tired. I'm just felt sluggish all day. So just thought, may as well get this done out the way. So in case I start rambling on or make no sense or even forget figures' names that I do want to throw the name off, that'd be why, so do apologise. Right, so okay, only three to go. And right at the end, right at the end, just, right then, Capow just seemed to actually be giving away some of the figures or desperate to take them off, so they had quite a lot of smoke of silver bolts, so he was reduced to £10 at the end. I was actually thinking though, because again, they didn't really have these in my area, the only place I've seen them is the entertainer and I have some rules of kind of sizes, but I pay for brand new toys. So unfortunately, this scale I usually wouldn't pay for anything more than fifteen pounds for. But unfortunately, I've only seen them in one shop, and I, well, this in Glasgow as well, in the town or where I live, I've not seen any at all on the shelves. So it is a nice figure, all with nice cranks. The only issue being, though, only when I played them out, it does seem to be that one of the chess pieces has a slightly short. Don't even see it there. One of the pins just seemed to be a few millimetres short, so that is loose. I probably would have been annoyed if I paid full price for it, but I thought, as I paid £10 for it, I can't really complain. I see that I'm £10 brand new boxed. So that is a nice figure. I know a lot of people said he's actually the nice one, surprised that he's filling up shelves everywhere, but you can see why. As you can see, you can hear that lovely crack ratchet sound. With his overcompensatory gun of death. Okay, I know actually that's not his gun or more the superior on gun. Good works. And final two are my kind of two well, big, most expensive sets of this year. First off, I picked up from Kapow the Perceptron Blasters 2 set. I have had them out and they're great figures. I've never actually had, had my hands on any of them ever before prior to this prior, try, prior to picking this up. As you can see that sorry, because I'm actually having to look at the screen and I'm trying to fit on. So I do already although on the rewinding sorry, the eject and ram horn, you you actually get re, re uh, try again, trying to get the name two names of I know the differences now I'm speaking, my brain is not working. So I do already actually have the three, well, Ram Horn and Eject, who probably now these days doesn't get any love because everyone now just cares about Rewind. But I've never had Steel Jaw, so I've got that, and I and it wasn't until yesterday when I had the G1 figure on the shelf taking some pictures. So I did not roast, so he comes with this new backpack pick which you can get slides on. The slides are useless, as you, they're probably too thin, you can see right through them through the telescope mode, as... In the case anyone doesn't know, the G1 Perceptor actually is a working microscope. It's only about 14 times. But it's a great figure. But it does come this additional backpack that I did not realise was actually only exclusively made for the set. Because as I've never seen the original Perceptor before in hand. So, and the slide. So that was quite a nice thing. And Blaster. Fantastic. Great text. So, £65. Great to have just like two figures that I've really wanted for years. And a great price. And the finally... I picked up a set from A1 Toys, the three seekers now the three conehead seekers, and now this is the one we kind of actually managed to get the six original seekers, the three the three originals, and now the six co the three coneheads. They are a nice looking set, do feel nice. They don't come sticker dough, so I've got to try apply them myself. I'm not that keen on them as I'm quite terrible at applying stickers, but I do definitely need to get new tweezers first for apply them. The amazing that was from A1 Toys, which is usually a shop based in Glasgow. They were there last year, I'm surprised they were back this year. As they showed up with a lot of other a lot of stuff that seems like they wouldn't sell last year, but they're great. And especially the fact they'll go for £50 when 
Well, even though I've even seen it today, it's pictures posted today that these are actually right now toys less than ninety pounds. So, I, so at that rate, thinking that I've got it for a steal at that price, forty pounds less, as I didn't even realise these were actually. I heard about they were coming out, didn't realise they were out yet in the west. In the west. So that's fantastic. So that's all the toys I picked up this weekend, and that's going to be the biggest haul I've actually has of yet. And just because my camera is quite short for time, just to check, I still have about eight minutes left for it freezes. I usually tend to do these kind of things in H with my cameras, a Fuji phone camera, and after nine minutes, it cuts out. So as for that, then I did actually go this year and pick up the sketches. Fortunately, I do have some prints I didn't get as. Anyway, as I didn't actually have time to get such as what some guests accused of busy as Nick's Roach wanted to get the your kind of season two more than meets side cast. I picked up season one last year. But we'll start with though this nice print that I got sorry, nice sketch I got from actually Sprite. I don't have to sound of swerve. Don't have a source that was quite cool. I was thinking this day if I, this year if I was gonna get any commissions, I want to get the six original go bots. But unfortunately though I left it too late. I was in a really weird mood, the build up to AF seemed to have done it the opposite way around this year. I've been in a good mood after it since he's finished, but in the build-up to I was in a really, yeah, really strong get up for it mood. I'll probably talk more about that when I talk about auto assembly itself, and also from Sprite. On Twitter pre previously she was looking for doodles to do, and I did say to her do a crash show, which I think she sells, she wants, wants him to sell. So there's a nice little crash she's done there for three pounds, well, sell for three pounds. But she probably didn't realise though how much of a popular cat crash, uh, character crash is. She actually had to sit him to the side, as a few people seem to be interested in this doodle. So, there you go, that's a great character as well, and these shoes, well, we had an artist called Gold, usually it's Gold, but I might get the name wrong, I believe it's Zihama, or Kaizama, I'm not sure that again, pronunciation, it's a Japanese artist, the more than it's the eye, it was a beautiful print, I didn't actually look at it, just went and thought it was nice, it was actually really looked at it later on and thought, it's such a G2 character in there, especially G2 swipe, sw swipe, swipe, side swipe, maybe I should have waited for actually my brain was at work, but right now I'm on holiday, I don't think that's going to happen. So that was a nice print. And I'm just going to check. And again, some of them were... No, oh, some of the one there. I managed to pick up this great print from Alex, from Mr. Alex Milne. But if it's a man always seemed busy, he's going to be rushing off, so I just managed to get him for it and get it signed before he went away. That's one of those famous Justice League kind of covers, like the second version. So I don't really actually have that in comics because I actually tend to only start reading them about after last day, after A2013, so I've always read things in trades. So even right now I'm still about six, seven months behind. So there's a lot of things happening I don't know about. And from Jim Sorensen, we're selling pictures from Bill Forrester. They were two for fifteen pounds, so I picked up this one nice one here from the movie from the scene where you got well or based on the movie from the scene where Rod was under lots of shark decons. And again, I really love Transformers Animated. So I managed to get this great one they had, the Team Char. We got Blackout, Cyclonus, Striker, Oil Slick. And I really should know this character's name is the Frog Lucky One, but I actually went blank at the moment. Probably because they don't actually have toys, that'll be why I can't remember. And they did only appear on the scene for about a couple of minutes. I know the other artists I managed to get prints from this year was. For all, Mr. Andrew Griffiths, who's a fantastic get gentleman. So it was three for twenty-five pounds, as I couldn't decide. So I did get this one, which is the cover from Ironhide and the Dinobots. I believe this would be something about between issues five and ten. I can't remember the exact issue it's from, but that was a nice piece. Also, being a Turtles fan, I picked up this brown piece, this beautiful piece here with the three four turtles. I'm not actually sure which actually. It does look like it was most looks like the though it's more inspired by the 2000 series, but I could be wrong. But that's very nice. And finally, as you've seen there, who like all fans should be love the GoBots and Crash is awesome. So that's a fantastic piece. So I know the Mr. Griffith does actually like, well, seem to love the GoBots as well. It's nice to see actually Crash are getting some recognition. I really believe that that I know she's actually officially now in Transformers kind of well media or universes as Fracture. So being the fact that the Crash is a crazy bitch and she's just nuts and let's face it, Mirgur Scott could be a bit twisted so this is a character I would really love to see. I think Mirgur Scott would actually have fun writing, writing Crasher. 
so hopefully that can appear one day, but that is my haul for A2015, almost say 2014, I don't even know what year it is. That's a tiny it still feels bizarre though that it's been and gone already. But hopefully that was my whole video, hopefully it wasn't too mind-numbingly boring or I didn't stutter over words or make little sense much, and even though this video's been a lot longer than I expected it to be, and I haven't even talked about auto assembly yet, this is my haul. I haven't even talked about how great the weekend's been, but hopefully they'll try and get that one up in a few days and try and sit down and try actually, well this one I think I'll make notes first of all, so I actually I might have some coherent, um, something coherent. But thank you very much for taking the time and watching this video, I don't know why you would have watched it anyway, but thank you. Goodbye.